Finding and selling to customers today is tough. They're demanding, distractive, have no attention span. They don't understand your product or turn up on time. They haggle irrationally and forget to complete the sales process. Chances are you've heard some version of this story and all the things you need to do to reach this new breed of customer. The future will be very different. What if the growth opportunity is not about finding and selling to customers, but about making them? This is Think Again, the Gartner original series that explores breakthrough trends and reveals new ways to think about the future. We start with Gartner analyst and When Machines Become Customers co-author Don Scheibenreif. Don, help us out. Make your own customers? This sounds like sci-fi stuff. What are we talking about anyway? Let me break it down for you. Over the last few years, we've been observing a growth megatrend quietly taking place. One that we think is actually going to be bigger than digital commerce. Because for the first time in human history, companies can actually make their own customers. Using technology like artificial intelligence and others, these customers can actually buy and sell on behalf of you, companies, and even for themselves. Today, there are more machines with the potential to act as buyers than humans on the planet. Over 8 billion phones, tablets, PCs, smartwatches, smart speakers, and connected personal and commercial printers exist. Billions of more machines will join them in the coming years. These machine customers, or Custobots as we like to call them, will soon create mega markets mega fast. How mega is mega? The Gartner research team polled CEOs. They believe that by 2030, 15 to 20% of their company's revenue will come from machine customers, accounting for trillions of dollars in purchases in the coming decade. But how and where? Here's Gartner fellow and When Machines Become Customers co-author, Mark Raschino. Probably the best way to understand the impact is just to think about all the things that will become customers over the next few years. For example, cars could buy their own tires. Your copy maker could order its own parts. Your closet could curate your jeans collection for you. In fact, we expect that roads and factories and office meeting rooms and AI buying problems and household robots and appliances and smart speaker intelligence systems will all become machine customers. How will this impact our everyday lives in the future? Gartner Vice President and Analyst Michelle DeClue walks us through a typical day in the not too distant future. So machines as customers, it's not just like a in the future type of thing, it's a now thing. I have a lot of smart appliances in my house. So a day in the life of a machines as customers for me is going to be something along the lines of having a smart refrigerator that's going to help you meal plan, order that food to be delivered, and even order filters for itself, as well as schedule services. One of the important things to know is it's not just about being a consumer and having it buy things for you. It can also look at how it can help you maintain things, such as a car can go ahead and schedule a service to avoid any type of disruption for you. We also see this across industrial types of businesses, such as manufacturing. If you have a manufacturer who's going to be producing a strawberry soda and they run out of strawberry, that's going to create a major problem. However, machines as customers could detect we're running low on the strawberry flavor and go ahead and order it in the future using smart sensors. As far-fetched as this sounds, what will seem crazy is thinking about the time when people used to have to do all these things for themselves. The central question for executives and their teams is a simple one. What do we do to get ready? Start off by recognizing that machines and humans are very different. Unlike humans, machines are observant, tireless, and exhaustive researchers, relying on the power of AI to always have the best info and analysis. They don't forget to order or follow up, and they are unwaveringly logical, never swayed by emotion. If you were expecting machines to act like humans, think again. What's next? Here are three things you can do right now. The first is to ensure that machine customers are on your roadmap, just as important as human customers. The second is to explore the kinds of machines that could become your next customers. And the third is to start to develop the expertise you'll need to succeed in this space. So what's next beyond machine customers? Tune in to Think Again for more deep dives into what the future may or may not be.